Hey everybody, my name is Cliff, N4CCB. Today we're going to talk about the W Cares Field Day 2021. Now this is not a video about how to go set up a radio in the field and work from solar power and you know some of the more technical things about portable ops. Instead, this video is about how we in the W Cares Aries group can operate uh, together and separately together. That's going to make more sense in just a minute. All right, so here's the agenda. We're going to talk about when and what is field day, what's different this year, what's your class and section, which is part of the information that we exchange with other operators. We'll discuss how seriously do you want to take this. There's a lot of ways you can do this. You can do it just a little bit, or you can jump in with both feet. We'll talk about that. Uh, scoring and how to maximize your score. What to do before, during, and after field day. We'll talk about logging your contacts. And if you are using the N3FJP software to log contacts, we'll talk about how to configure that and also the Discord chat app if you want to chat with us all weekend. Uh, we'll wrap up by talking about how to submit your log to the ARRL and to ensure that the uh, WCARES group uh, gets credit for the aggregate scoring for those who submit the WCARES-TN club name. And finally, a slide with more resources. So here we go. Field day is Saturday, June the 26th, starting at 1 p.m. local time. And it ends 24 hours later. That's Sunday, June the 27th at 1 p.m. You do have up to 12 hours to set up your station starting 24 hours in advance. So at 1 p.m. Friday, you can start setting up if you're going to work outside. There is some fine print if you look at section three of the rules, you have a few hours that you can deviate from the normal hours under certain circumstances. But for most of us, 24 hours in advance, up to 12 hours for setup is what we get. Now, that's when field day is. What is field day? Field day, the objective the AWR website says is to contact as many stations as possible, and then it lists the bands, and to learn to operate in abnormal situations in less than optimal conditions. So they're really trying to get us to get out of our shacks and get out into the field and simulate working in an emergency situation, which is great for us because we're an Aries group, right? So what's different this year? Well, there's actually three things that are different. As far as rule changes go, just like we had in 2020, Class D, which are home stations, can contact other Class D stations and individuals can put in a club name when they submit their logs to create an aggregate score for the club. So we're going to put in WCARES-TN, all caps, and all of our individual scores are going to add up to a club score. We'll see how we do with other clubs. Not that we're a club, we're an Aries group. One more rule change. This is new for 2021. Class D and Class E stations, which are home stations and then home stations running on emergency power, are limited to 150 watts. So do not use an amplifier. Okay. This is the big news. We are actually going to be running two stations in the EOC this year, uh, although limited in our capacity. We're only going to have two stations, uh, one sideband station in the Oxcom room, and we're going to run CW out of the media briefing room. Now, we've already filled out the schedule. Uh, the schedule is full. There's just not very many slots, uh, so we couldn't get everybody in there. But thanks to those of you who did volunteer. Uh, if you want to come by and say hello, there is limited room in both of these small rooms that we're operating out of. But come by, say hello, uh, spend a few minutes. It's pretty much standing room only. And then uh, mosey on to give somebody else a chance. But uh, it's going to be great to work out of the EOC again. Things are getting back to normal. It is a wonderful feeling. We can't hang out at the EOC, but we can hang out at Moreland Estates. Paul Tampion lives at Moreland Estates. It's right off of uh, Moore's Lane. We've held Winter Field Day there a few times. Paul's going to set up that big carport tent and run his station outside out of that tent. There's plenty of room for people to come bring a chair and just hang out and have an eyeball QSO with whoever happens to be there at that time. You can also bring a rig. If you want to make a few contacts, uh, bring your radio, tap into Paul's antennas, and uh, don't hog it, but make a few contacts. You can't use Paul's radio for that because Rule 6.2 says that as soon as you use a radio for one call sign, you can't use that same radio for another call sign. So... 
Uh, if you want to operate from the, from the field there at Paul's place, bring your own radio. Otherwise, just come hang out, say hello, and it's going to be wonderful to see everybody again. When we contact other hams in field day, we're going to exchange call signs, class, and section. Well, your section is just Tennessee, Tango November, TN, right? Your class is two things. It's the number of transmitters that you're capable of running simultaneously, and it's a letter that designates your level of participation, level of commitment. Uh, you be the judge. Next slide. Here are the classes. Class A, a group of three or more people who are working portable and not using commercial power. Class B is just a single person or two max that are running portable, not using commercial power. Class C is mobile. So that's your car, your boat, your airplane. Class D is your typical home shack that's just running off of their normal shack antennas and, and the commercial power supply. Class E is a home station that's using their normal antennas, but it's running on emergency power. And finally, Class F are emergency operations centers. That's what WCARES is when we are operating out of the EOC. Just because we're not operating all of us out of the EOC doesn't mean that you can't get a couple of friends together and create your own little group and operate as Class A somewhere out in the field. And I would encourage you to do that. You get to decide your level of commitment here. You can just make a few contacts in your cozy shack or you can go to the max and run out in the field on battery power using a solar panel for charging your batteries. You can get all kinds of bonus points and try to run your score up. Really, you can do whatever you want. And there's no judgment. It doesn't make you a hero uh, to go to the max, and it doesn't make you a zero if you just uh, make a few contacts. We are an Aries group. We really should try to make a little bit of an effort to go set up in the field a little bit, you know, just to exercise our gear, make sure our coax is okay and our antennas are working. Uh, but you can take this as seriously as you want to. You know, they say field day is not a contest, but Tim Kreth, 84CJ, says it's not a contest, but it is a competition. And he's right about that. They are keeping track of your points. So if you care about being competitive... Um, here's how they're calculating the score. So your score is the total of your QSO points times your power multiplier, plus any additional bonus points that you've uh, uh, accumulated. A QSO point uh, is one point per phone contact and two points for CW or digital. So there's an emphasis on getting people to use something other than just a microphone. Uh, power multiplier, if you are running five watts or less on battery power, that's a five X multiplier. In other words, you're going to quintuple your score if you go that route. Uh, if you run a uh, high power, it's only a 1x multiplier. In other words, you don't get any benefit from that. If you're doing anything other than uh, QRP or running high power, then that's a 2x uh, conversion there. You get, a, you get to double your score that way. And as far as bonus points goes, there are so many ways to earn bonus points. I'm not even going to list them all. Um, but go check out section 7.3 in the rules, and you'll see a lot of ways. As a matter of fact, there's a slide here that shows some of them. Before I show that slide, though, as far as how to increase your score, of course, CW and digital contacts count twice as much as phone. It's great if you know CW uh, and how to do digital. That's great. Make your phone contacts. Make all the contacts in different modes. Um, a quick example here is 100 contacts for CW station running 5 watts gives you a thousand points. A hundred contacts from a phone uh, station, you know, sideband station running 150 watts or less gives you 200 points. So you can make a lot more points if you will run on five watts on battery power, especially if you're doing uh, digital or CW. Now, bonus points. There are a ton of those and some of them are not applicable to home stations. But here's a chart that shows you some. I scanned this page from the June uh, QST magazine, the one that just came out recently. It's got a really good summary of all the bonus points you can earn. Note that some of these are not available to uh, Class D or Class E stations. But for those of you who want to try to get all the bonus points you can, 
you can run this thing, uh, you know, as a class A station out in the field with two or three people, or excuse me, three or more people, and you can have your own go to station. You know, you can put out a, a table with, um, you know, ham radio propaganda. You can uh, create a press release and send that out. You know, that the doesn't have to actually be printed in the paper. You just have to create the press release and send it out. Uh, now, you will need to provide photographs or some kind of evidence that you've done these things and and you know digital photos are fine but if you do want to uh, try to crank up your score bonus points can really add up and uh, section 7.3 is your friend in the may monthly meeting we did a little preliminary discussion of field day and i gave you a lot of things to think about so there are some things here that you can do before field day and let's jump into these uh, first of all you can purchase configure and test the N3FJP uh, logging software. That software, if you don't have it already, is only $8.99. Uh, it's the software we always use at Field Day. It's really easy to use. Um, you can configure your computer-aided transceiver interface, your CAT interface, which will allow your N3FJP software to automatically log the band and the mode that you're using. You can configure the CW interface if you're a Morse code person and you're using the keyboard macros. Uh, you can configure the web upload contest status, which is the way that people using them through FJP can all have their scores and their, their contacts uploaded to the WCares.live website so we can all see how each other are doing. If you want to participate in live chat, which I really encourage you to do, you can create a Discord account and then you can either download the Discord app on your computer or mobile device or just use their web interface at Discord.com. Now, there is an email that I have already sent to you guys uh, with detailed information about Field Day. There's a link in that document that you can click on, which will give you access to the WCARES quote-unquote server. That's the Discord uh, you know, server that has our chat rooms in it. So click that link. You only have to do it once, and then your Discord account is now associated with the WCARES server. Then go explore that WCARES chat room. You'll be able to see the trash talking and the encouragement and the other things uh, from this past winter field day and then summer field day last year it's all sitting out there uh, read the field day rules that's really important there's a lot of nuance in there that i'm not covering in this presentation go read the rules you'll learn something and it might help uh, influence how you run your event determine what class in other words how how much effort you want to put into this uh, go check your antennas make sure everything's okay uh, check your feed line, check your uh, your batteries, uh, get everything ready, make, make sure you know how to operate uh, your gear, make sure it's all working. And then go brush up on your field day. If you watch some YouTube videos about field day, maybe you can take some notes on how people are uh, aggressively calling CQ on phone and, and that sort of thing. Um, that's all the stuff that you can do before field day gets here to get ready. 24 hours before field day begins, you can set up your station. Make sure everything's okay. Now, during field day, make sure that your computer's clock is set up with the correct date and time, or all of these contacts that you're going to be logging are going to have the wrong date and time, which is a bad thing. So make sure that's working. Make sure your logging software is working correctly. You can always make a few contacts uh, in the log before the field day starts, and then delete them out of the log before one o'clock. Make sure you use your own call sign. If you're operating in the EOC, you are gonna be using N4FR, but when you're operating at home or out in the field, you're just gonna be using your own call sign. Chat with other WCARES members using the Discord chat room app. It is so much fun. Uh, it keeps us all connected. You can uh, post pictures of what's going on at your site. You can uh, just type there's so much you can do there. You can put in, uh, you know, memes. There are, you know, GIF files and things like that that you can drop in there. It's a lot of fun. And finally, uh, check out WCares.live where you can see uh, live scoring that's being uploaded to our FTP server uh, at WCares.live by the N3FJP software. All right, so field day's over and you've you know, broken down your station and put everything back up and you've gotten some sleep. You've got a month to get your log together and submit it to the ARRL. Now that log needs to be in the Cabrillo format 
or as a dupe sheet. And N3FJP will create that for you um, and give you a summary of all your contacts with different bands and modes and things like that. So it's really neat. Now, you will need to go to a special web page on the AWRO website and fill out some information and upload your uh, log. And I'll show you what those, uh, what those screens look like in just a minute. First, let's talk about logging your contacts. So I've already recommended that you get the N3FJP software, $8.99. You get it from the N3FJP website. Uh, it's what we've always used to log field day contacts. It's super easy to use. It does everything you need it to do, and it even creates the proper file for you to upload to the AWRL after the event. It includes this really cool web upload contest status feature that allows us all to have our our contacts uploaded to the web so that we can check out each other's scores and look at our total group score at wcares.live. Through N3FJP's uh, live view of all of our scores and through the Discord chat app, we're all going to have a lot more fun and we're going to stay connected even though we can't physically get together at the EOC uh, all at the same time. So I'm going to show you how to configure N3FJP to automatically upload your scores and it's really easy. We're just going to go choose the settings menu and then web upload contest status from the settings menu. Everyone should have already received an email that contains this configuration info, but let's go over it real quickly. Now you're going to want to focus on the top left hand corner. All of that stuff in the black text is stuff that you need to key in exactly as it's shown here. Make sure to substitute your actual call sign for where it says your underscore call sign. Once you do that, you see that red arrow that's pointing to the Upload Now button? Click the Upload Now button and look in the bottom left-hand corner for a status message that says Success. If you get that, click on that link below the Upload Now button that says View HTML File on Hard Drive, and you'll see this. You'll see this blue window that has your call sign at the very top and then some stats. If you configure that screen and you test it, and you get some kind of error, double check, make sure that you entered all that information correctly. If you get lost, if you need help, I'm here for you. Just uh, give me a call or shoot me an email. I'll give you my contact info at the end of this uh, presentation. That was N3FJP. Now let's switch gears and talk about Discord. Go to discord.com and create your free account. And then you're gonna click on this link. Now I've, I've given you this link in an email previously. That's going to get you to the WCARE server, and doing that connects your account, associates your account with our server, and you'll be able to get to these chat rooms labeled General, Field Day, Help Needed for Sale, and On the Air right now. The Field Day chat uh, room is the one that you're going to use. Now, here's an example of uh, what that chat room looked like just a little bit, just for a couple of minutes last year. It was early on Sunday morning. Jeff woke up, said hello to everybody. Uh, I told Jeff, all the bands are dead, Jeff. There's no reason to try to increase your score because Jeff and I were kind of you know, battling it out. Uh, Ed Hudgens jumps in and says, Jeff, he's selling snake oil too. So I put in a gif here of the snake from uh, the Jungle Book. And Jeff says, ha, ha, ha. Okay, I see how it is. I was beginning to believe you. So there's a lot of fun that you can have by chatting. Uh, and I really encourage everybody to do that. All of the hard work is done now, and we're talking about submitting your info, submitting your log file. There is an app. There's a web page for that. You can find that on the AWRL website. Here's what the link looks like. But you'll go there, and you're going to fill out the form, and you're going to upload your contacts. The contacts can be in the form of the Cabrillo file or a dupe sheet. N3FJP can create both of these formats, and I suggest you do create a dupe sheet because it's going to make it easier to uh, fill out the summary information in just a second. This is what the form looked like last year. And it might be a little different this year. I don't know. I can't see it yet. It's not field day yet. But um, do not forget to plug in WCARES-TN, all uppercase, in the club or group name field. Okay. The rest of this stuff is pretty self-explanatory. And uh, unless you're going crazy and have a go to station, there's, there's, there's less for you to do uh, if you do less. Here's the second screen. Notice how this is the bonus point screen where you can just check these check boxes. 
And then in the right hand side, you can upload a photo to document uh, what you've done. But if you've uh, tried to maximize your score, this is going to be an important page for you. Here's the third screen. And if you use N3FJP to generate the dupe sheet, it's going to give you this summary of all the different modes and bands that you worked. And you can fill that information out easily there. And notice in the top right hand corner, there's the choose file button. This is where you're going to go navigate onto your hard drive and find that uh, dupe sheet or Cabrillo log file and upload it to them. Then this last screen, I don't know that anybody is going to create a GoTo station, but if you do create a GoTo station, here is where you're going to go list the names of the people who operate your GoTo station and how many QSOs they had in order to get the uh, GoTo bonus points. Okay, here we are at the end. Now, if you have not yet gone and read the official rules, go do that. Uh, go to awrl.org. Uh, there's a field day entry right there in your face, and it's easy to find the rules. Go check that out. Now, I also sent you an email the first week of June that has a link to a Google Doc. And that Google Doc is kind of a tweaked version of the one that I sent everybody a year ago, and the same thing that I sent back in uh, January for Winter Field Day. Uh, go check that out. Go get the N3FJP uh, software. It's only $8.99. Go check out Carl Sabilski's uh, 2018 field day presentation. 2018 is the year that we were number one EOC in the country and that we got an actual score that was in the top 10 for the entire country. Um, we did that by running five watts off battery power and making a ton of contacts and getting all the bonus points we could it was a moonshot, and we got to the moon. It was beautiful. Uh, go check out that information. Carl is kind of an expert uh, at propagation and all-around good guy. Go check out that presentation. There's a link to it in the email that I sent you. All right, other. What is other? Well, other is what do you what do you not know? What do you know you don't know? Go learn what you don't know. Uh, Google it. Uh, watch some YouTube videos. Ask a friend. Heck, ask me. Here's my contact info. Uh, my email address looks like batsoncliff at gmail.com. Shoot me an email. I'll usually get back to you the same day. If I don't know the answer, I'll find it for you. And you can also uh, call me or text me if you're having trouble on field day, 615-631-2494. I'll make myself available to you. And otherwise, uh, good luck this year. Now, I have recorded this video in advance because... I was lucky enough to go on vacation. Today, the day of our monthly meeting, I am unlucky enough to be on the way back home from vacation. So I can't be there to answer any questions you might have, but somebody else is going to do that. And uh, so that's all for me for now. Uh, somebody else, uh, please avail yourself to answer whatever questions there might be right now. Everybody take care. See you later. Bye.